Hello everyone, Windroid here and welcome back to another video. Forget everything Apple and Samsung told you about thin phones. For years, the Air or Edge trend meant one painful compromise, terrible battery life. But what if a competitor not only delivered a razor-thin design, but packed in a battery that offers twice the endurance of the iPhone Air? That's exactly what Huawei claims with the new Mate 70 Air. It's 6.6 millimeters thin, yet it houses a mammoth 6,500 milliamp hour cell. We're diving deep into the tech that makes this possible, revealing the controversial feature Huawei ditched to achieve this feat, and discussing why this phone might be the real flagship slim device of the year. The Huawei Mate 70 Air is designed to challenge the idea that slimness requires sacrificing specifications. At 6.6 mm thick, it falls into the category of new slim devices. The build feels secure, utilizing an aerospace-grade titanium alloy frame and ultra-ceramic glass to reduce weight while boosting durability. The most impactful spec here is the battery, a massive 6500 mAh silicon carbon anode battery. Huawei took pot shots at the iPhone Air when announcing it, noting that the Mate 70 Air circumvents the iPhone Air's biggest weakness, poor battery experience. Huawei claims this translates to 50 hours of battery life, which is about twice that of the iPhone Air. This alone is the why it matters narrative. Huawei enhanced the offering without sacrificing specifications in the name of slimness. When you eventually need a charge, it supports 66 watt super fast wired charging. Powering the Mate 70 Air is the Kirin 9020 series chipset running Harmony OS 5.1. Interestingly, Huawei offers two different processor choices based on the configuration. The 12GB RAM variant uses the Kirin 9020A SOC, while the 16GB RAM model uses the Kirin 9020B chipset. While it's not positioned as a top-tier performance chip, it is built for consistent everyday use. The maximum 16GB of RAM should ensure the phone remains responsive when multitasking. Huawei went one better on the camera front compared to some competitors, offering a quad rear unit. The core setup includes a 50 megapixel main camera with optical stabilization, a 12 megapixel RYYB telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom and OIS, and an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. But the standout feature is the 1,500,000 multi spectral channels red maple primary color camera. While we refer to this as a primary color camera designed specifically for maximum quality in night and other low light conditions. The Mate 70 Air sets itself apart by prioritizing comfort and everyday use over pushing heavier frames and bigger specs, but there are two crucial points of controversy. First, let's talk about price. The Mate 70 Air launched in China starting at RMB 4199, about 590 US dollars, for the 12 GB 256 option, ranging up to RMB 5199, about 730 US for the high-end 16 gigabyte, 512 gigabyte model. These are compelling prices for a premium slim phone, but for many, the global availability remains a massive issue as it is currently uncertain outside of China. Second, and perhaps more divisive, the Mate 70 Air lacks wireless charging. While the 6500 milliamp hour battery is enormous and supports 66 watt wired charging, the omission of wireless capability is likely direct result of the phone's ultra thin construction. For a flagship device in this price bracket, is sacrificing wireless convenience worth gaining that incredible battery capacity? That's the core trade off Huawei forces you to make. The Huawei Mate 70 Air is not just another competitor, it is a direct philosophical challenge to the slim phone trend. Huawei's approach, a razor-thin 6.6mm profile paired with uncompromised power like the huge 6500mAh battery and the specialized quad camera system, proves that thinness doesn't have to mean compromise. It handles the basics well and stands out in a year where many phones feel the same. But now, I want to hear from you. Would you happily give up wireless charging for a phone that boasts double the battery life of the iPhone Air? Let me know which spec matters most to you in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more analysis on the latest tech news, and see you in the next one. Bye!